And I want you to notice here that therefore they arose and they fled at twilight and they left the camp intact. In they left the tent and the, the horses and the donkeys and they fled for their lives. The Syrians fled for their lives because of what they thought they heard. Because they heard something, but they heard something that was amplified. And my question to you, are you giving God anything to amplify? Are you giving him anything that he can amplify and make you look bigger than what you are, stronger than what you are, richer than what you are, prettier than what you are? God has the ability to magnify whatever you have. And you see the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1 that the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. And I want you to notice in verse 9 they said to one another, what we are doing is not right. They said this is a day of good news and we remain silent. They said, if we wait until morning light, some punishment will come to us. And now, therefore, let us come and go and tell the king's household. The king's household, all of other gods, other children who don't even know about the good news. These lepers stumble upon the blessings of God. And when we have found the truth, we have to be like a beggar that has found a picnic. And we know other beggars that are starving that would die to have a fraction of what we have. And wouldn't it be wrong for us to just stumble up on a family reunion that has been vacated and there they've got ribs and chicken and beef tips and macaroni and cheese and collard greens and rice and beans and red velvet cake and banana pudding and you have stumbled They've got cornbread and rolls and croissants and they, I'm telling you, shrimp etouffee. They got all kind of stuff. Crawfish, my God. You got, I mean, you got the whole spread just laid out here any kind of way you want it, fried, boiled, baked, any kind of way that you want it. And, and they stumble upon it and they, they know they got a whole nation of people behind them starving. And, and, and they were picking out at first and then they realized, oh my God, what we're doing is not right. How can we be silent in a day of good news? My God, we have stumbled upon something. We've got something. Listen, if you're the only one saved on your job and nobody knows it, shame on you. If you're the only one in your neighborhood and nobody else knows it, shame on you. Listen, we ought to be directing folks. We ought to just have barbecue sauce dripping down the side of our face making it look so good and sound so good and say, you, know, you want some of this? I'm, I, I, listen, I can, sh I can break you off a piece, but I can show you. I, 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 I'm going to take it to the source. I'm going to take it away. I got mine. And you, We are not the source. We, we bring them and lead them to the source. We bring them and lead them to the source. And, and listen, you, do you know why it is so dangerous for you to stumble on something that is good and not tell anybody? It would be as though I touch the glory of God and I act like it's all mine. Because listen, whatever you don't turn into praise will turn into pride. Are you listening? And I'm just here to tell you that if God ever blesses you, if God ever uses you, and if you never tell anybody and give that praise back to God, the glory is not yours to keep, it's only ours to give. The praise is not ours to keep, it is only ours to give. And if you don't give God to praise, if you don't turn it into praise, it'll turn into pride and pride will precede the fall. And I'm just here to tell you that whatever God has done for you, you got to be able to turn that thing into praise to say, you know what? I was in a bad situation. I couldn't walk, I couldn't help myself. I was depressed. I was feeling rejected. I was down, I was ready to give up, I was suicidal. Listen, it wasn't because you just read somebody's book and listened to a tape. Listen, no, no, no. It's because you had an experience with God. My, whenever you touch the holy, there is a power of God that comes on you. And I declare to you that when you are willing to give God the praise, turn it into praise so that it won't turn into pride. Give God the praise and bless his name. When you get up, I declare to you that God will amplify your step and make you look bigger, sound bigger. He'll strengthen you. He'll add to you. He'll give you more. He'll make your business look like it's more than what it really is. People will really think that you're a big bowling when you got everything. You're shooting everything you got. 
They think you got a whole lot of other stuff back here. But God has the capacity to be able to amplify your steps. This is the day that the Lord has made. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all of that, that you're able to ever ask or think. And it is according to the power that works on the inside of you. And I just pray that you will give God something to amplify in your life. And that you'll just say, Lord, it may not be much amplifying, amplifying. You'll throw in your little tires and say, this is not going to make any difference to anybody. Amplify it. Amplify it. You'll say, Lord, my little testimony is not much. But if you'll open your mouth, God, listen. That little boy that had that little two fish and five barley loaves didn't think that he had much. God has the ability to amplify. He'll take what was, if it's good enough to feed you, it'll feed the multitude. It will feed the multitude. You're carrying in you today. A lunch that God can multiply. He'll amplify what you'll submit to his hand. Submit to his glory. And I declare that if you say, Lord, the house that I got, this is not because my credit was so spotless. It is not I didn't get this job because I had all the right degrees. You know God helped you to get that automobile. You know he helped. You know he made you. If they only knew. Somebody shout amplify. He will make you bigger. He will make you bigger. God, I'm telling you, he's up to something. He didn't need you to be big. That's why he told Gideon, you got too many. Send this stuff back. Give me a little bit and I'll amplify it. I've got my own PA system. I've got my own amplification. I've got my own big screen. If you'll do it, I'll show it. If you'll make the little cupcake, I'll make the sheet cake. Listen, I will make them see something bigger than what you've got. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Yes, he will. Yes, yes, yes. It's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight that is in the dog. And I declare to you, if you use everything you've got, God will amplify you and give you a platform that is bigger than what you realize. You may think that your platform is just about you. It's not about you. Your business is your platform for your testimony for the gospel. What you do in sports is about a platform for the testimony of God in your life. He wants to amplify something divinely by his own grace in you. And if you'll just say, Lord, I feel feeble, but I'm going anyway. I'm scared, but I'm going. I'm trusting and trembling all at the same time. God, use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything? Is anything? Is anything? All that he needed was a seed from you. And if you'll trust him with the seed, if you'll be willing enough to say, God, what I have may not be much. I don't have a cake plan. I have got a cornbread plan. But God, I'm going to submit it to you and I'm going to use, I'm going to take what you've given me. And I'm going to do everything that I can. God, amplify me. Use what I've got, Lord. I don't have the degrees that everybody else has. I don't have the clout. I don't have the money. I don't have the relationship. 
but God, I've got you. I need your amplification system, God. And when you're willing to get up and say, God, I'll do it. And if you won't be silent about it, that after God blesses you, if you'll turn it into praise so that it won't turn into pride. Because I know people that came from nothing and they act like they are grand once they get there. And they turn something into pride and want to tell people how they did it and they know that it was by the grace of God. You turn it into praise always. You secure the platform that God has given to you when you will turn it back into praise so that it won't turn into pride. Pride is the strength of sin and it'll destroy your very life. But we're in a, in a place we come and we just say, God, have your way. Have your way in us. Have your way. Have your way.